Uh, excuse me, sir, but don't I know you from somewhere? Alakai? Uh, right. Alex, actually. You don't remember, do you? You were born here, but disappeared when you were a cub. Disappeared? What are you, like my father or something? Dad! Son! Welcome back to the Pride! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you say welcome back to the Pride, he must prove himself in the rites of passage. We must test his powers. So the first thing every adult lion needs to know is how to round up lion cubs. Now you should see what one of these cubs looks like. Uh, hi there, little guy. No waving, start rounding. Okay, jerk. What? <laughs> Bravo, Alex, bravo. But don't be too pleased with yourself. You're still a long way from becoming a real lion. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm a real lion already. Tell it to the wall. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Mr. Wall? I... No, no, no. I mean you have to climb the wall. All the way to the top. Jump onto the climbable surface, son. Your strong the jump button also allows you to jump from one climbing surface to another. Go to it. That's my boy. Keep climbing all the way to the top. Well, you've mastered cub finding and basic wall climbing, but it's time for the true test. That wasn't a true test? Then what was it? More like a pop quiz. Now this next ride is something that every lion must know. Our most sacred ritual, musical chairs. You're kidding. I never kid about rituals, or chairs, or anything. chairs right now.
Bye. You did it! Son, you have proven ultimate strength and stamina at musical chairs. But, 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 not so fast there, Zuba. There are still more rights to this passage. Like, wall climbing. Like, I did that one. Short-term memory going there, Makunga? No, my naive friend. While you did climb one wall, it was more like a small fence compared to this one. And oh yeah, we're also going to drop large things on your head while you climb. Enjoy. Well done, Alex. I'll bet you're feeling pretty proud of yourself, aren't you? Do I have to listen to you anymore? Now let's see how well you compete in the greatest ego-crushing game of all time, dodgeball. How about a date with Sweetie Mingo? Oh! <laughs> 
Feistiness. But it will take more than witty sarcasm to conquer the obstacle course. This one should be fun for you. You'll be running and jumping and climbing to find the next checkpoint. But you've got to be quick. You go cat like reflex. passage left and I'm sure you'll master it. The father knows these things. I'm sure you'll master them. <laughs> well, I hate to interrupt this bonding moment, but it's time to introduce you to nature's cruelest mistake. The dreaded durian fruit. Oh, we've been introduced. As a matter of fact, I can't seem to escape the durian. And you won't today either. Just try to be the last lion standing at hot durian. Get the out of here! beat you because this is no ordinary city boy he's my city boy yeah what was your name again zuba son zuba oh that's pretty cool well i wouldn't celebrate yet there's still one more right left and it's the hardest of them all let me guess hopscotch oh that's not a bad one no no it's the dreaded canyon quest where only the bravest and strongest lions can make it all the way to the top.
You fools! How could you let this city boy beat you? Because this is no ordinary city boy. He's my city boy. Yeah. What was your name again? Zuba, son. Zuba? Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, I wouldn't celebrate yet. There's still one more right left, and it's the hardest of them all. Let me guess. Hopscotch? Oh, that's not a bad one. No, no. It's the dreaded canyon quest, where only the bravest and strongest lions can make it all the way to the top. All right, son. This is the last right. All you have to do is run and jump the way to the highest point in the front. Then you'll scream out your old passion phrase that will be associated with your tribe. Do you really think you're going to make it to the top? to the top. Now scream your catchphrase out over the canyon for all to hear. Loud and proud. Oh yeah, the catchphrase. Um, how about I, I like, like soup? Oh no. What? That's your catchphrase? What did you expect? Putting me on the spot like that. Well, I'm afraid that simply isn't going to cut it. There's no way we can give you the hat of victory after I like soup. Oh, come on! Dad! I'm afraid he's right, son. You may have completed this right, but without a strong catchphrase, you must wear the hat of shame. The hat of shame? Oh, man. All right, I'll take it. Is it cool if I wear this while I go check on my friends? Well, it's not cool. It's totally dorky, but I'll be right back, okay? Check this place out yet? If you feel the need to give one of your hippie friends a chance to take a look around, use this totem pole to switch characters. Otherwise, carry on. Insist you come back when you are a female hippo who answers to Gloria. Hello, my friend. Welcome to my latest kingdom. 
This is your latest kingdom? It is indeed. It is beautiful, no? I took a vote and it was unanimously agreed upon that I would be the new ruler of this very watering hole. A vote, huh? I suppose it bears mentioning that His Majesty was the only one who voted. Yes, yes, whatever. The point is that now that I am king, I cannot have riffraff swimming around, bringing down property values, eating people, etc., etc. They also don't seem to be letting anyone else in the water. What? Oh, no, 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 no. It's time for Gloria's bat, and that attitude isn't going to fly. Let's give these guys the boot. Now just press the action button when you want me to lob fruit at these reptile interlopers. But we need to take out their leader to get rid of them all. King Julian is pleased. Now, with the successful relocation of the riffraff, I can enjoy a lovely mango. Mmm, that was pretty fine, baby. Well, I am the king, you know. I was talking to the lady. Thank you for the compliment, Modo. There's plenty more where that came from. How about I take you to check out my secret underwater crib? Sure, why not? Lead the way. Now follow me, baby. And stay close. Real close. Hmm. I hate to see you leave, but I love watching you go. Playing hard to get, are you? Before I take you to my crib, I want to pick up some pearls and make a necklace for the hippo I love the most. Oh, that's very sweet. Hey, how come I can hear you perfectly underwater? Must be because you're so fine, girl. So these pearls, uh, I pick them up myself, but it turns out I'm allergic to clamshells. Could you shuck them out for me, honey buns? Uh, sure. Okay. Some clams might be hidden by those big old boulders. Use your pepper charge to smash them.
Pick up that pepper, bust through that barrier, you'll be one step closer to my pad. What do you say, my voluptuous vixen? I say that the gentlemanly thing to do is eat the pepper and bust through the barrier yourself. Oh, you know I would, Cream Puffs, if I weren't allergic to peppers. You've got to be kidding me. Your mother raised you wrong. Okay, now check this out. We got another boulder to break, but first you need to get the green peppers from the crocs. Let me guess. You do it, but you're allergic to crocs. No, baby. I just like to watch. Ugh. Yeah. 
place out. Hey, I haven't seen you swimming in these parts before. Who are you? Oh, hi. I'm, uh, Gloria. Say, have you guys seen Moto Moto around here? He was right behind me. <laughs> oh, really? He's usually right behind me. Or oh, me. It's his favorite beauty, you know. Although I don't see what he sees in her skinny booty. Hold on there. Who you calling skinny? Okay. Staying out of this one. Guess I'll see you ladies later. Bye. 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 Gloria, sweet cheeks. I knew you wanted some of this. Some of what? You disappeared on me. Yet here I am. It's your lucky day, baby bottoms. You're gonna get to check out what a smooth operator I am on the high dive. I don't know. You'd have to be pretty smooth to impress me. Watch me, baby. <laughs> Yet. Better try again. Necklace with those pearls you made me shuck. <laughs> Welcome to my garden. <laughs> or what would be a garden if it weren't so dry. Well, have you ever considered trying to water it? Interesting point. Maybe you could help me. What a beautiful garden, and all thanks to you.
Welcome to Juicy Juicy, a game where you lucky ladies compete for the ultimate prize, me. Juicy Juicy? That name doesn't make any sense. And did you just call yourself the ultimate prize? Oh, big and smart. Okay, okay. So you've whet my appetite. What do I need to do? Quite simply, my lovely lady. You just need to be the first to collect a number of fruit and look good doing it. Which won't be a problem for you. Now let's get it on. Ah! 
easy. time with the ultimate prize. Yeah, soon, baby. Real soon. Moto's just gotta take care of a few things. A little bit of business. You just hold tight and I'll be right back. Tell you what, I'm gonna check this place out a bit and why don't you catch up with me when you're done with this business of yours? 